So I had a bit of a question. I saw the little tip that you had with Lauren Southern on Twitter the other day and participated <laughs> in it a little myself and was a little bit impassioned by a few of the things she had to say. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what sparked you to uh, say some things to her? Well, this was actually catalyzed by Red Pill Black. Um, and uh, I was, I, I so I was talking with James Alsop and uh, Nick Fuentes about Red Pill Black, and I actually said that no bullshit guy. I go, oh, he was a great, if he were the alt light, then I would love them because, you know, they're just down to earth, funny, got really, better. you know, but we see eye to eye to them, you know, or we can respect them. Um, and and so he did a video with Lauren about um, uh, about the alt right, and then she kind of distanced herself from us and said, oh, she didn't really know who we were. And then you know, with with the MPI conference and Hail Trump and and my kind of rise to, to greater prominence, oh, then we we oh, I can't really support uh, this kind of thing. But I, I have found this a little bit. Um, interesting uh, or, or maybe a lack of self-awareness on Lauren Southern's part where she has been promoting European identitarians and uh, she and Brittany Pettibone have. And um, Brittany Pettibone seems to be dating uh, Martin, Martin Zellner, which I of course think is a great thing. Um, and I, I guess I, my first provocative question was kind of like, so you claim ignorance about the alt-right. You thought the alt-right was just a bunch of edgy guys who are into small government, you know, but, but plus Pepe or something. And I go, if, okay, you were ignorant, that's fair enough. I'll give you, you know, I'll believe you. Uh, but are you equally ignorant about identitarianism? Um, because identitarianism is not about Pepe and small government. I mean, identitarianism, if it, if it has any meaning at all, it is a political activism that is derived from the European New Right thinking. And so it is not about small government. It's not even about just French nationalism or Austrian nationalism. It's actually much deeper and certainly has a racial and, and, and civilizational component to it. And so I was just asking, are you equally ignorant of this movement and are you going to denounce them or, or distance yourself from them? So uh, I, obviously I was, I was being uh, provocative. Her answer to all of this, um, she didn't really answer that question. But her answer to all of this was that America is such a new uh, state that it's okay if it's done in the old world, but if it's done in America, then that doesn't make, I, I don't, I mean, I think we could all dismiss that. I mean, it, uh, technically speaking, America is older than Austria and Germany and, and, and so on, but let's put that aside. Um, I, 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 she obviously is getting at something truer in the sense that, you know, um, a, a German does have a, a longer connection between blood and soil than Americans do. We we came here in the 17th and 18th century and so on. Um, sure, I'll grant her that, but I don't think that means that we cannot be identitarian. I think that's simply wrong. But I think, I think it gets at something else, which is this kind of boutique tourist identitarianism among many Americans, where we want to look towards say the based polls or the based checks and it, it's kind of okay for them to be nationalist uh, but then we here we need to be all about individualism and small government and uh, we need to preserve europe as kind of a, an historical museum uh, of our people so that we can go visit and you know go go visit stay overnight at a castle or you know visit the louvre and, and see i you know Again, I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, but but I I really have a, a lack of respect for this. Um, I think that Americans need to learn from Europeans. I think that we have been too individualistic. We've been too connected to the Constitution and so on. We need to be more think more in terms of blood and soil. But I I think Europeans can learn from Americans in the sense that Americans have uh, one of the great things that we have done is actually overcome ethnic hostilities and so on. But the fact is we are fundamentally all in the same boat. And this isn't just a question about maintaining uh, Polish identity or, or, you know, or, or Austrians, you know, kicking out the refugees or something. This is really a question of we are under threat and we are being attacked as a race and as a civilization. 
And so we are fundamentally all in this together, although we're going to have different paths that we're going to tread just due to our obvious differences. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I am a little bit skeptical of, of the Lawrence Southern type that they, they seem to want to become, they, they want to kind of have their cake and eat it too, where they, they want to claim that they're not truly alt-right, they're not identitarian, they're journalists, journalists who are dating <laughs> identitarians. I'm not sure, uh, you know, I'm not sure you can have the greatest objectivity when uh, you're doing that. Um, but they, they kind of want to have their cake and eat it too, kind of, you know, touch on that, 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 that hot, hot, you know, radical quality, but not go there and always be, have a plausible deniability about it. And I, I don't really like it. Um, I, I, I think that I, I'm not against people doing journalism on identitarians. I think that's great. Um, but I would rather that we support people who are truly identitarians and make no bones about it. Um, and that say, yeah, I'm doing this for my, my people and my nation, but also my race and, and so on. And this is who I am. Um, I'm, I'm just, I, I don't know. I, I, I like Lauren. I, I don't, I don't, and I like Brittany Pettibone. I, I don't really have any harsh feelings towards them. I'm just very skeptical of this. And there just seems to be a lot of money being raised for these girls who are basically, or it's like female orbiting. It's like they're, they're, they're women becoming like groupies of different things and doing journalism, uh, which is, you know, kind of debatable. Um, I'm, I'm just very skeptical of it, but, um, but I don't really have any harsh feelings towards, towards either of those two women. They, they seem perfectly, uh, you know, perfectly nice. Uh, but I think we need, we need a little bit more than that. We need a real movement that's, that's about us and our ideas, not about fangirling. Yeah, I echo that completely. I remember when I first saw the little tip going on between you two and I found it so entertaining. And she said, well, America's a new nation. And when I saw that, I just went, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> I just had the thought of, okay, at what point does a nation get to defend itself? At what point do they get exactly. to like build, build a little house and have a border and then defend it? If America is a new nation, therefore, it can't defend itself. As you said, a place like Austria, that's kind of a new nation, has drawn new borders. When do they get to defend themselves? It just seemed like kind of a weird point. And then she went on to the whole what is white anyway argument. And that one really, really flares me up. I have the utmost respect for her. She's done a great job with a lot of her journalism and has taken our side on a few things. But mm -hmm. when I saw that, I was a little disheartened. She was making these these disingenuous arguments. You know, like, it, it's like when you, it, it's like, they'll say something that is kind of sort of true or something, but it's just meant to, to, to be a kind of escape valve. So we don't have to talk about these things, you know, and, and then she was making some just incorrect arguments like um, the 1790 Immigration Act text about the Irish. And so it was just simply incorrect. But, but, but it, it, just the fact that she makes these little kind of nitpicky things that, that does bother me. Because uh, it, it it does, I, I don't think those those kind of arguments are are, are genuine. Well, I for one, um, I'd really love Lauren and Brittany to come and join us and be completely unapologetic um, about these values. Um, but of course, everyone um, you know has their own life going on behind the scenes, and we don't always know exactly um, what people's motivations are. Um, but yeah, I wanted to say that. Millennial Woes made a really, really good video about um, one of these particular issues, which is that uh, Americans seem to think, um, well, Americans often get like these narratives like, oh, you took your land away from Native Americans or, oh, you, your country isn't really a real country. You know, it's only just kind of come about in the past 400 years or whatever. Um, I, and I, unfortunately, a lot of Americans kind of buy this and go, oh, yeah. Uh, well, Europe's a different situation. This is only the situation for the US, that's understandable. Uh, the US isn't a real country, we'll just let everyone else in. Um, the problem is that the exact same thing is being told to people right. 
in the UK, I've definitely heard, and I'm sure the rest of Europe, uh, we are told things like, no one's really British. You know, you are just an amalgamation of all these other groups that came in. So we're all immigrants. We even get told that in the UK that we're all immigrants. And, you know, even people who've been living in Ireland for 10,000 years, um, you know, they might have a little bit of like admixture from uh, Sweden or, you know, admixture from, um, Spain or something and then it's all of a sudden like oh well no one's really Irish you know so we should just accept these black people in here about exactly the same so don't fall for that narrative is all I'm trying to say well my, my issue on this I, I just want to throw in my two pence on this I've got no problem with people who don't go as far as what we do <laughs> I've got no problem with people I call them gateway individuals I uh, they're essentially people who um, others normally start their political journey with them and then they work their way towards us because the truth is something that's addictive it's something you want more of so you mm -hmm. might start your journey annoyed about immigration and end it with us discussing certain aspects of internationalism or who owns the media and all of a sudden you realize there's a bigger picture and you we take people to the end of their political journey to the logical conclusions and i'm all up for these gateway people bringing in newbies bringing in normies but where i draw the line is when i see people using it um for some kind of to create a personality cult around themselves where they make an awful lot of money and then they bring people in but put a gateway between those people and us by disavowing with us now if these people bring people in keep their mouths shut and allow those people to finish their political journey then i'm happy to coexist with them and i'll never attack yes. i'll never punch right i'll never attack other people on our side but i did speak out obviously against paul joseph watson because he's one of these people he brings people in with his sort of almost you know these jump cut videos that people with shorter attention spans like and then they see maybe one of our videos in the recommended links like oh what's that what's that video there on all right oh this richard spencer he's taking me further on my journey but where i draw the line is then when he puts out one of these disavowals or makes a mockery or punches at people like myself who are being exposed on a documentary and the reason i'm being exposed and he isn't not that it was anything of an expose is because i'm actually trying to build something that will dismantle the system whereas he is right. simply profiting off the system's failures and that's the big difference between us and them they're making a living off the system failing and people's anger but we're trying to channel people's anger into a productive movement that dismantles the system and that to me is the huge huge gulf i agree